Hi, welcome back to Over 55. Um, this afternoon we're talking to the Honorable Khalil Ramel, who is the Member of Parliament for Fan London Fanshawe. And um, we've been at the Senior Center all day today, and you've been out and about doing your work in the community. Yes. And you're very active, and thank you for all that you do for London, by the way. So thank you very much. Yes, it was a busy day for us. Uh, today was started today with uh, Parkwood Hospital. We're trying to uh, build uh, a facility uh, to deal with uh, mental illness people in this region. So there and was a sod turning, was sod there? Sod turning today, yeah. and uh, so it's going to be one of the most uh, beautiful and uh, incredible facility to help many patients, mental patients, to be treated and to be uh, looked after in that site. And also, we are here today at the Senior Center, which is not my first visit, of course. I always uh, come here for many different uh, event and, uh, and occasion. Mm -hmm. And as uh, you mentioned, Over 55, I, uh, Over 55 a group uh, very active. They invited me here many different times. I came in the past and I spoke uh, many different times about my different issues. I, I actually saw yeah. that on television. Yes. And I didn't even know you were doing it. And I was yes. watching and you stood up and you made that announcement. And, yes. I, and I was quite surprised. So yes. thank you yes. for that. Uh, I like the seniors. They're very active. And yeah. uh, as you mentioned early uh, to me uh, before we went on in, yeah. in camera, you told me, you know, how we can keep the seniors active. Yes. So that's why I introduced Bill. Uh, conditional driver license. Oh yes, tell us about that. So uh, there was a bill yeah. um, that, because one of the things that is uh, of issue is um, maintaining seniors, a lot of seniors need a driver's license. Yes. And um, there may be some adjustments in terms of eye, yes. um, their, their vis visible uh, issues or yes. their eye care and tell us how, what you did with that. Well, I mean, it's a conditional driver license to allow seniors to have uh, a chance to continue to drive and uh, conditional which means not just for seniors of course I'm open it for everybody whether seniors or adult or young people who uh, don't feel comfortable to drive on the highway 400 years highways because as you know so many big, big trucks on the highway busy traffic people want like especially seniors they want to uh, drive from their home to the grocery store yes. to the club to come to senior, senior citizen uh, locations and they want to go to the mall or they want to go to uh, a coffee shop so I want to give them ability to have a conditional driver license which means they can drive only daytime or they can drive uh, just inside the city cannot go on the highway uh, I think it's it's uh, would be important to keep uh, the their mobile and give them the chance and ability mm -hmm. to drive to see not to be dependent on their kids or their other friends or other member of the family it's I, I think it's would be good for the seniors and good for everyone mm -hmm. when you have uh, a conditional driver license which give you the chance to you know remain mobile be yes. active in the community and you know with an aging population yes. a lot of the things that we're doing we're going to have to make adjustments sure. because there's just going to be so so many people a quarter or more, more. A th almost a third yeah. of the population yes. are going to be over the age of 65 and that's coming upon us very soon. So, yes. And um, one of, and the big thing because we've also uh, uh, had some um, interest uh, with the Minister Deb Matthews mm -hmm. on the importance of keeping the seniors uh, at safe the, and yeah. at home, safe, secure sure. at home yes. um, with lots of community supports. Well, you know, it's very important for all of us, like for you and me and everyone in, in this community. If you take the senior and put them in the hospital, what do you can do for them? Like you put them in prison, basically. And, uh, but, and many different seniors, they like to stay and remain in their homes. Mm -hmm. And they want a little bit of support. So that's why uh, we have a strategy, Minister, uh, Minister Ma Matthew, she's uh, leading a ministry and minister in this regard to help many different seniors to remain and, and maintain their homes with a little support by community care access center, by a nurse come to visit them every once in a while, give them some kind of support. This I think would be an important strategy, would be important for the seniors and important for us. You know, it's, you like to be at home, you don't want to be taken away from your homes. In the home where you grow, sometimes you grow up and you have a lot of memory with your family, with your kids, with your husband. You don't want to leave it, go to an institution like a hospital, for instance. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get... Where well, you know no one. You know no one. And then look yeah. like a, it's, it's a hospital. It should be a place to treat people, uh, sick people to be treated, and, and, and that's it. Not 
to live there. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do, to segregate the living from a treatment center. So it would be good for the seniors, would be good also for our healthcare, because you don't want to also occupy a lot of acute beds uh, in the hospital, because those acute beds uh, will be uh, needed for uh, sick people mm -hmm. who need to be treated and, and go back to their families mm -hmm. or homes. So that's why I think the seniors belongs to their homes, and a and, and matter of fact, majority of the seniors like to remain living at yes. their homes. Yes, I don't want to give up my garden when no, I'm. No, me <laughs> when too. I, <laughs> I, I like gardening. Yes. You know, I, I'm, I'm waiting patiently. Or my cats. Yeah, whatever, whatever you own, <laughs> yes, right? That's so right. You, it's, you know, you, you establish a, like a wonderful relationship with everything. Yes. Even the wall mean uh, something for you. The stairs, the wall, everything's in the homes yeah. where you grow up, where you establish like a life and family. So you want to give it up just uh, because while well, you're not, uh, you know, you're not able to do it 100 percent. That's why we. Our obligation as a government, as a citizen, as a taxpayer, I guess, to assist uh, the seniors to live in their homes with respect and dignity. Well, I appreciate the, the work that you're doing to help us do that. Um, that's everyone's major concern. Yes. And um, so thank you for coming and spending some time with us. Oh, so thank you for hosting me. That's very, very good. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Over 55, and we'll see you after this break. Thank you.